Weird, weird, weird. Good morning. Oh, the wrong way around. Just had, yeah, it was just a bit weird out of my sequence and yet I've done the same things. Uh, and, of course, forgot to do the mute so that I didn't forget to do the unmute, <laughs> which meant you heard the background of what I was doing. So, eh, yeah, that's what it does. <laughs> that's what it is. Thank you for being here. Um, I'm Ros Boundy, psychic medium, and I'm going to pop my, my name, name up there. there. Can you, Can you see, see that? that? Oh, no, no, there, there. Oh, there, there. It just, just popped up. up. Um, because because <laughs> sometimes, sometimes there, there are new people, people who are popping in, in and might not know the name. Oh, goodness, goodness, goodness. 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 Um, I have put in the comment section of at least on my Ross Bounty page to click the link above to remind you that to be a, have your comments seen like Wanda's just said the good morning there so that I can put them up like that and show you um, on screen and say hello. So, oh, wow. Um, yeah, it, I just had the little bit of a, a, a surprise shock with it this morning because I was pretty sure I'd logged into my Google because last night I did turn the computer completely off. I'd done a lot through the day yesterday. I had to clear the cache, all those things to get it realigned, you know, so that we're in line with what we're doing now. Um, something with the Google, uh, it didn't sign in as I was going live on my B Live. I didn't even have the right setting to where this was going sitting on my screen. You know, I know I logged in with the right one. You know, the vagaries of technology. So we're here now, though. So we can say good morning to Kathy as well because she's got her comment in the mytimetv.live page stream <laughs> the chat stream that goes with this live broadcast in that page is how i'm saying it and uh, if you like watching on youtube i have the other link there in, in the description, description somewhere, somewhere on, on. i think that's, that's my profile, profile. that's it's just, just my, my thing that every, every other friend type sees um, um, profile. You know, no, whatever, whatever that's, that's called, called when you get the news feed and your profile, profile stuff, stuff comes up, up i'll put that youtube one in there you just go and search for youtube the rolls bounding uh, and, and you find, find on a lot there too. too. Uh, it's interesting the choices that we're given and how we can actually exercise those choices. Still, we're not totally autocraticised with our government, although it's getting close to it, <laughs> and, we're, and even especially with what technology we use. We can only use what, what is given, given to us to use in the way that we have those little rules that are in those sections of how we use our programs and stuff too. So... We'll move forward with what we've got, and it's a wonderful tool that we have got. Now, I'm going to switch the cards around. Why am I echoing? Shouldn't be. Um, have you got it? Oh, hang on. Oopsie. You could be right. <laughs> is that better, Kathy? <laughs> um, is that better? I have only got the one microphone, but it might have been coming through the webcam microphone because I think they've got mics on them as well, and that's a bummer. Um, yeah, I forgot to mute the second mic. Oh, yeah. <sighs> Thank you for letting me know. Now, there's my booking buttons and etc. on those pages uh, and whatever you call them, you know, the, the scrolly bar, taking it off now. You've had long enough. <laughs> and I would love to get onto the reading. Right. Here we've got the spread, and I'm trying not to bump the table uh, we've got the Guild of Breviary. It's, I'm hoping that it's, it can stay sort of like that so that anyone that wants to know can I'll put that up a little bit further and I'll just move the camera as I need to. Uh, to shift it for the up and the down, we've got the five cards as per usual and that is showing us the workspace energy so at the moment I'm better. Yeah, look, I did turn off the little. Uh, look, in the back end, there's so much sometimes, Kathy, to actually do, and it flummoxed me a little bit because I had that thing with the YouTube or Google or something having to sign back in when I actually did the right destination from a show in the studio. Uh, just a bit, one of those things this morning. So anyway, 
So I think as far as there's not confusion here, but in your role, I'll explain it as part of that card. We've got the workspace, work energy is this one. We've got the home energy is where the ring is sitting. sitting. And in the unexpected, we've got the moon. Yeah, it is the moon. I had to look whether it was the stars because there's a star there, but that's the moon. We've got mountain in your role and it is the park or garden that is in the outcome, which I reckon is fantastic. Um, it, <laughs> for me, it just all was a very nice day knowing what it is, my partner's birthday. So we're going to be going out at some point. Now, what we have is the lilies in our workspace. So it's a lot of what is coming into, you know, it's what we're bringing forward from what is we've worked for. Um, so it's also partly the help of those that are part of our team, the, the answer, you know, the ancestry genetic memory and all the skills that we have being brought in with it. So it's actually that type of energy in the workspace. So you can actually bring that peace and feel that peace with what is in that space. So time to reflect a little on what, what is that um, sort of the history-ish part of what we've done with our work, that the, you know, the ideas and things that are brought, brought into it, our space. Um, I'm just feeling that it really is a peaceful time at the moment today uh, to take some of that time to look at what you've prepared already and see where it's sitting and what you need to bring forward into that more uh, foreground effect so that you're actually seeing that as, as the front runners in ideas and what you're going to be working with, okay? Because there's been a lot of work in the background for that. So that's what I'm feeling with that. And around the home space, there feels like there is a commitment um, because the ring for me does mean a bit of a commitment and, and the continuing story of what is relationships with others so I'm feeling it is a pressing on. It is actually, um, uh, oh, look, is it communication? It's not, it's more the, the dreams, I think, so that you're working towards what your actual goals are in that respect, your, your loves and desires around what's in your home space. And if you certainly have a special someone close to you that you're really wanting to connect in more deeply, I'm feeling that that's what is in the in the cards for today you're going to be connecting with that um, person more deeply today so keep it moving keep it moving in that cycle I mean it's not saying that everything repeats of itself exactly it just means that that energy is continually moving and giving that um, you know sense of sense of uh, worthiness is the word that came to mind just then but I don't think it's even that that sense of your self-worth and connection in with that other person in the relationship. So that's what I'm feeling with that one. So see how it moves for you and to keep it moving. Now we've got the moon here. I'm trying to get that so you can see it clearly. Um, <laughs> the moon pops up like it's that beautiful light that just pops up where I'm feeling the unexpected part of that is, you know how sometimes on a beautiful clear night when it is a full moon or well, any moon and you just glance and you see the moon, it's just there. It's in, it's that right moment of noticing it so that you can sort of, oh, wow. And it gives you that wonderment of the immensity of our space, our universe, because we, we know we can't see it all but, and we all do know enough of the science around it to realise how small we are within it, but how important the whole is in that respect because the whole mechanism works together of, you know, the energy of everything, you know, that universal energy. So that's that feeling, that sense of, um, oh, you know, the oneness is going to be popping into your day to day as well. That's what I'm feeling. You know, and that we do carry that universe within us as well, that full cycle in that symbolism of the moon holding <laughs> that that is like a sphere that is the containment but not containment because it's all around and about. If you understand what I'm saying there, <laughs> it can be very interesting. It's almost like the quantum physics can be very interesting and that isn't going to focus properly if I move that that way. 
So I'm going to just try and move the whole camera, whole stand, see if that works to get the mountain a bit clearer. Does it? Nah, it's still the same angle of the light, isn't it? But anyway, there is a mountain here <laughs> and it's and it's actually, I'm just wondering, I'm going to move the camera, move the stand back. God, it's a nice heavy stand, Shaz. I'm borrowing, a sh uh, borrowing this stand from Shaz's girlfriend. Now I'm going to pick that up and see if that's better. Oh, it is a bit. So with the mountain, what we've got, it is in your role, this this card position so it is actually more around yes there it may be some challenges but you can uh, surpass them you, you just walk around dig through climb over that type of a feeling so a little bit of work around it and seeing the challenges for what they are they are not the mountain they are able to be moved around dug around under over all the sorts of ways that you can find to get past them but it's doable because that's what it is. It is doable. And you'll be able to see once you get to that peak how, you know, what you've put into that is giving you that beautiful reward of the view, of the uh, achievement of the challenge being completed, if you get what I mean. So it's almost like, well, that you are that, that nice little creature there, the reindeer, whatever he is or she that well, I think it's a he because of the size of the antlers, but it's that ability to do whatever you need to to get to that peak. And we do all have that ability, uh, probably because we're not actually given anything to that isn't able to be done by us, really. It's having that frame of mind that we can, um, the, the perspective, that understanding that all things are possible. And that's where... You know, with the parks, because this is the, the card for parks or nature or garden, it's beautiful, beautiful vista. The outcome is being able to be out in what is nature, grounding, being uh, public so that we are um, being seen and acknowledged, and, but also our part in that is sharing in times of, of celebration. That's what I feel this one is because it just really engenders that feeling of picnic. And a lot of the time our picnics are for a purpose, like we go out to go with family and friends to celebrate something. That's what my feeling is with it because it almost does feel like a full celebration in that line, in that row, like we've got there, you know, bringing what was passed for us into where we are now and that, uh, you know, the commitment to being in relationship with people. And it's not just those who are the closest with us. We're in relationship with anyone and everyone that we connect with. Even me like this, there's this relationship of, um, you know, sharing this time and this space in being able to understand a little more deeply what is our day, what is our understanding of, good morning, Karen, of what is our understanding of the energies around us because I know that we feel there's more to what is just this physical body and surviving in this physical body. There is meaning and purpose in what we do at that inner soul level because I feel that connection. I know this for me and I'm sure that you know that for you as well. And that's why we query and question and want some clarity and being able to get some guidance. So um, happy to be part of that because that's what that relationship is and it's you know it's just part of the flow of what is our life uh, especially when we can look up and see that glance and glimpse of the moon occasionally even in the daytime there's times where you see the moon you know it's it's all part and parcel of knowing that there is the everything there um, at the time that we need it and it pops in unexpectedly I'm going to just leave it there at the at the positive you know, because these are positive cards. They're all positive cards because they're they're laid out in a way that the energies or the spirit guidance want us to see them this morning. Okay, how you interpret it is more for your own uh, abilities to come forward in that. Practice your intuitive guidance for yourself and see what messages you're getting what you're receiving with these as you're looking at them for yourself in the context of how they lay, as I explain, or in the context of different energies you're feeling from them. And uh, 
hopefully it's helpful for you. Uh, I'll still continue to do it, even if it's not, because I like doing this. <laughs> so even though there's sometimes some challenges as we get in on, uh, get in and join, you know, all this technology, whatever it is. Now, I do have, and I can't find it, but there is sometimes, it pops up, but it's not here at the moment. I was going to actually post my link for those of you who would be interested in not just coming in on as a guest, but hosting something similar to this yourself using the BeLive Studio too. I do have an affiliate link so that you can get some free time on it to play around with it yourself. <laughs> oh, thank you, Karen. But who else can I be but me? And in my own quirky way, I don't deliberately do the nutty stuff. It's, it is like, it's just me. Um, this sort of stuff, it happened to me this morning and I go with the flow. So that's what it is. Now, I am going to show this one again. And, oh, it doesn't show up real well with the background because it's a transparent. I'm just going to change the colour of the background. Hang on a sec. Um, because I didn't realise, of course, being transparent, you're going to get what colour am I going to choose? I'm going to go for the that one. Let's see what that does. There we go. Now you can see it a bit better. <laughs> the black really did swallow the black text, didn't it? Um, starting this next Wednesday uh, evening at the 7.30, I'm just going to have a, it's the short four-week course, sort of course, that I'm going to be starting. So do click that link that pops up to book in for that. And each week there is a new link to click for the $30 one. I still haven't quite got that uh, Canva thing with the link to actually do it for the full $100 for the four. So um <laughs> oops and oh good morning bethany so you're over on the youtube link so that's why you've got the little blue head top set up which is fine um i'm not sure i would say that you haven't an avatar at this point uh i don't do the actual individual readings at this morning session that's only the once a week that i do at the moment with leanne and i on a friday evening which i did last night and leanne um <laughs> She's away for the weekend, so I did it by myself, which was interesting. <laughs> um, the replay for that even is in the My Time <laughs> stream of videos, so you can go and watch it if you like. And that's me. Um, so if you around on a Friday evening, um, you'll probably get those types of readings. This one is a general reading that I do. So if you want to learn a bit more about reading your own cards, I do tend to stick a bit more with the Lenormand with this course, but it's not just that. It is the Tarot and the Oracles as well. <laughs> oh, yeah. I like that. There's a cute little winky. Um, is that an actual emoji that you're using on the YouTube channel? I'm still wanting to find out what does happen with these types of... I'm just going to hide that now because I don't need that anymore. The link is up. Um now what have I got there? Oh, that's right. Just showing the cards. Um, when you say what is it called as far as the card spread or the um, you know, the cards themselves or what, the cards themselves are a Lenormand deck. It's a type and style of cards readings that is quite different to a tarot deck where if you might be familiar, Bethany, with what a tarot deck is, um, that has a major arcana and four suits, like sort of playing cards. It's not quite. And the oracle decks are entirely different where you have written messages with artwork most of the time. So that's how that works. Um, oh, good morning to you too, Janice. Lovely to see you here. And we've got, Jen whoops, that one slipped. Janice, you're saying beautiful. Oh, thank you. Um, just, just a quick explanation. The cards are absolutely beautiful. Bethany, if you're still on the YouTube, can you just let me know if that little winky, uh, as in this one, winking, the wink, or whatever it is, did you use an emoji or did you have to type in the semicolon bracket to get that? Because uh, unless I ask, I don't find out because I'm still experimenting or finding out what the YouTube side of this does come through as into the BeLive Studio. So that would be wonderful to know at some point. Now, I have actually uh, got a 
I'm just trying to find the link that's going to go with when I pop this one back in. I'll actually hide that. Now, this is what they look like all up, but it's going to come up with the link to my grand tableau. This is the cards, all of them, in the main deck, this one. So that shows up as this. These, this is the deck. It's still the same deck, but it doesn't have the extra cards. You can see that one where it doesn't say it. And in our deck that I used this morning, that is the, it's the same deck, but I've got expanded. Now, the one on this one is 36 cards. That is a Lenamond deck. This one that is the expanded, it has 42 because it's got the extra just to give some uh, oomph to some of the readings in a slightly different way and expands it, obviously. That's what it's for. Um, I do like using the expander because I just love the artwork. Now, this picture that is, whoops, there, that one that I've put up, that is all of the plain one. You just look at the artwork and it's absolutely superb and there's a way of reading the grand tableau that gives absolute, like, heaps of detail of what there is for you when you ask the question. It's usually in context with that question. So... I just love using the liniment. It's an, um, for me, I feel it's a real, oh, you can get in touch with what is that flow of the intuition uh, a lot easier. I've used these more frequently than I have tarot, yet someone who's been using tarot for years might feel the opposite and that the tarot is the only way to go. It's all what we need for ourselves, for our own guidance, and go with the flow with what you're feeling drawn to. They come with a book with it, oracles. It, well, yes, they do. Um, I don't actually use them very much. When I first got it, because um, it was this deck, the plain, the basic that I got first. And when I first had this, this is the difference in it. You can tell me <laughs> when you, I'm just going to show you this because you can tell which one I actually use mostly. Um, and I'll get them out of the box for you because here's the two different the two decks and you can sort of tell right that there's i'm just going to get the grant and blow out of the way now <laughs> i'll do that that way so what we've got is the two what two decks there there we go they're the same size and everything and when you put them on the edge you can sort of tell which ones i've used mostly because it's a lot duller on the edge of this set than it is this one that I've hardly used so you can definitely tell which is the one that I use mostly um, what I have with the actual guidebooks I'm just trying to get it out oh, which now I've thrown on the floor it flew away it didn't want me to use it oh, because I don't use them um, so here's the two different guidebooks for each so that one's out of the expanded of course you can tell and there's the one that came with the original they it's actually I don't mind the guide guidance that's in there it certainly gives a good description of what the cards mean and yes they're a well loved deck very well loved deck so the guidebook itself in the original, just go back to that. I'm trying to find where it is. So it actually does give a, a fairly reasonable description of what it meant to, I'm not sure whether it's Sarah Marchetti or someone else who's written these up, uh, probably does go back to sort of what the original reading is. But it's they're so simple, it's what, you know, if, for instance, if you have the bird card up, what does birds mean? What What's their behaviour? What's the energy around them and the snake and things like that? You sort of instantly always have something that comes to mind from what your own real life experience is. So that's where and feeling that intuitive message that you're getting from spirit that's guiding you. Um, and so for me, it's more that connection rather than reading through a guidebook. I did it. I read through it all once when I first got this first deck and then I haven't really read it at all. I typed it up so I can make it easy for people who just want the guidebook meanings. I, I'd send it in a little message if I need to, just a quick response. 
especially if I haven't got time to actually put in a real reading time because that's my time <laughs> where I need to, you know, it's like anything. We do like to um, connect with people with time and the process behind it. Sometimes it needs some time to do that. Um, those who are readers will know what I mean. Okay, so it's coming up for my breakfast time. I think I need to be moving onward. And thank you for being here, everyone, and sharing in what is wonderful time for me every morning at 8 o'clock. I love it. I really enjoy continuing to share with you. And I'll keep doing that as long as I can. Continue to be the best person that you can be in whatever way you need and are led into receiving your guidance and to actually actioning who you are out into the world. Okay, so thank you. Namaste until tomorrow about the 8 o'clock. Bye till then.